So the uh, Intra-Africa Trade Fair for 2023 held in Egypt, covered by Arise News earlier this month, attracted some 28,282 visitors, uh, both in person and online from around the world. Now, briefing the press at a virtual meeting earlier today, the Executive Vice President of the African Export-Import Bank, uh, Kayano, Kanayo Awani, says the event was headlined by trade and investment deals totaling $43.7 billion signed in Egypt. Uh, Awani also provided further details on the performance of the IATF summit at the Media Parley. Let's take a listen. In terms of participants that attended, both virtually and physically, we ended up uh, at 28,282. Um, I hope you all can see it on the screen as well. And in terms of non number of exhibitors, um, I think we had um, announced 1,615 um, at the close of the trade fair. Um, following our audit, it was 1,939. Um, we had actually targeted 1,600. Again, participating countries overall, so people who participated in one form or the other as exhibitors, buyers, delegates, visitors, um, speakers as well, we are in an, we are, we are 130. Um, I think for that figure, we had a target of 75. Um, and in terms of country pavilions and exhibition stands, 45 African countries had pavilions um, as countries and as, um, and as um, corporates. Of those 45, 42 were actually African country pavilions. And then we had 16 non-African countries who represented, who were also represented, giving a total of 61 countries and total trade and investment deals, which was um, the one item we did and we couldn't announce at the end of ITF 2023, it came to 43.7 billion US dollars. That's where we are. That's what we consider to be a report card and um, from our own estimation and by the standards we set for ourselves, it was uh, hugely successful because we exceeded um, many of the parameters, if not all actual, and probably say for visitors that was marginally short. We have the um, export, the framework agreement we signed for export agriculture in the context of food security, which was signed about $2 billion. And um, it involved um, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Chad, Egypt, and Africa Zimbabwe. The, instant, the, the, um, the intention of this facility is to address the food insec insecurity issues uh, in Africa, which also include the hunger rate of, of 20%. The idea being that countries like Zimbabwe and Malawi will be the um, like say the agricultural hub under a contract manufacturing scheme, contract agriculture scheme that will support um, um, countries like Egypt, you know, and, uh, and and Chad will be for livestock as well. The other one I can speak to is the is the initiative we have around sub sovereigns. Um, the sub sovereigns is is organized around a network of um, national sub national governments. Um, around the continent, especially those that have sufficient autonomy. So we had representatives from various countries from their, um, what we call governors in countries like um, Nigeria or premiers in countries like South Africa or, um, or in, in, in countries like Kenya, um, the, um, I think they are called premiers as well, you know, in Kenya. And then we also had those from Egypt was also represented and a few other countries that were represented. And we then arranged there. One of the initiatives is to how to see how we can finance the sub sovereigns directly. And um, from coming out of that, we, we signed uh, also a framework agreement to support um, certain sub sovereigns in an amount, especially those in Nigeria, in an amount of 500 mil billion naira, which is about $500 million. The total. The total um, package or ticket for sub -sub this sub-sovereign financing is an amount of $2 billion. I guess the other one I'll talk about is I also speak to our industrialization interventions. And that was what we signed with um, the facility we signed with um, Arise um, Integrated, Inter Integrated Platform, um, which 
is in an amount of about $1 billion, and that is to support industrial parks in various countries um, across Africa. We absolutely monitor these deals and track them. So what we do as a bank is that every deal that's been closed of those, I think is almost 426 deals that we've announced today, for instance, um, in number, has an, an officer assigned to it. And that officer, will, it doesn't matter whether it is a financing deal or a non-financing deal or trade and investment deal, an officer monitors it and sees it to com- conclusion. Some of them are things that have to do with the bank's financing. They're also monitored. Those that are outside of the bank, they're also monitored. And we report on this um, monthly, you know, and um, to, to in terms of our own governance structures, in 2018, for instance, we, um, we, we closed, I think, $32.4 billion worth of deals in Egypt here, and we, we closed 70%, 75%. Our target for 2020, IET of 2023, and that remains our target all across board, is to close at least 70% of those deals. And those deals are also being tracked. In fact, we use those numbers as part of our promotional activities down the line. We'll use them down the line as we prepare for ITF 2025. The trade fair is, is um, while it is a platform to connect buyers and, and sellers, we are acutely aware that the contracts that are being um, negotiated or gone into or are being consummated by the buyers and sellers, investors and investment opportunities, and invest, investors and, and those with the opportunities, you know, have to be financed in some form or the other. You know, whether it is in financing, whether it is direct finance and funding, or, or whether it's even in um in de-risking, in in um, um in risk-bearing instruments, and by that I mean guarantees. And that's why as a bank, we always invite all DFIs banks on this continent, as well as um, non-bank financial institutions like those involved in insurance and those involved in guarantees and even factoring companies and even ECAs and exim banks. The reason we do that is because we want to expand access to finance and that the deals that are being consummated, especially in the context of traffic and trade, are financed. So in 2023, I think we, inv- 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 we invited over 500 of such banks to participate in the trade fair. And some of them were also participatory in um, in in uh, in the deals that were being done, you know. And um, and I think it's it's a huge platform for access to finance. It's not just a platform to grow in traffic and trade, but it's definitely a platform for bank to grow access to finance. And our banks, I uh, I'm pleased to to say that banks are seeing it as an opportunity, you know, to also for business development and to uh, um, to get deals onto their books. And those programs we announced was also to see how we can expose them to financial institutions, you know, but also to um, use them as a, as to support our, uh, our financing interventions. We had the buyer program, the buyer program, out of that dedicated buyer program where we sponsor buyers, you know, as well as and, and attract you know, buyers who read in a way to redirect them into to buying made in Africa goods. So for those who are, you know, who look for opportunities outside of the continent, we directed them to the trade fair to see what they can buy from that continent. And it's also pleasing to say that about 2 billion deals of what I've just announced came from that dedicated buyer program, which is about 157 of the deals announced. Um, and that program also saw a lot of uh, successes you know, and some of them are also being, at, um, you know, um, directed to us for financing. For instance, um, there's a central firm that used to buy um, polyvin- polyvinyl chloride or what you call vinyl from China. And then they found the market or find the suppliers in Egypt. And, and those transactions are being up, you know, sent to us. We're also very huge in syndications, as you mean. No, you know we're probably ranked number one, but according to Bloomberg, in in syndications in, in this in this in this continent, and what that means is that as we attract deals, we're also able to bring in other um, financial institutions to join us in implementing those transactions.